Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Netherlands, Feyenoord title, the heart of Rotterdam. A Feyenoord journey in the heart of Rotterdam. Amid the bustling streets lined with modern architecture and the remnants of the city's storied past, a fervent passion ignited the air every weekend. The source of this electricity was none other than the legendary football club, Feyenoord. To the casual observer, Feyenoord was just a football club. But to the locals, it was a tapestry woven into the very fabric of their identity, one that illuminated their history, struggles, and triumphs. Our story begins with Lars, a young boy of 11, who lived a stone's throw away from De Quip, the iconic stadium that held more than just games. It was the epicenter of dreams, community, and fierce loyalty. For Lars, this wasn't merely a place to watch his heroes play. It was where he first felt the pulse of passion when he attended his first match with his father, a lifelong Feyenoord supporter. As the teams burst onto the pitch, the air swelled with the thunderous roar of thousands chanting, Feyenoord, Feyenoord. Mature men shed tears of joy at the sight, while elderly women wielded their scarves proudly. In that moment, young Lars was swept away in a tidal wave of camaraderie and exhilaration. He knew that his longing to belong was starting to find its home here. Yet, the story of Feyenoord ran deeper than the excitement of a match. It was underpinned by the club's rich complexities and the city it represented. Throughout the years, Feyenoord had become a symbol of resistance, especially during the scars of World War II. The community that rallied around the club was built amidst adversity, yet they rose together bolstered by the team that defied the odds and ultimately brought hope to a weary city. At school, Lars learned about the club's legacy, a legacy marked by both immense highs and heart-wrenching lows. He listened fervently to his teachers recount the golden era of the 1970s when Feyenoord triumphed in Europe with unmatched resilience. Yet he also heard stories about challenging seasons, financial struggles, in the aftermath of the devastation wrought by economic crises in the Netherlands. Feyenoord was a reflection of Rotterdam, both vibrant and gritty, ever adapting yet steadfast. As Lars journeyed deeper into the lore of the club, he uncovered its foundational philosophy to provide hope and inspiration to those who were struggling. This resonated with him. It was his own story reflected back at him. Dreams forged through hardship a community's relentless fight to overcome adversity. As he moved into his teenage years, the reality of adulthood began to dawn on him. He watched his father's eyes darken with worry as news of factory closures and economic uncertainty rang through the streets of Rotterdam. Lars began to understand that beneath the youthful excitement of being a Feyenoord fan was an entire city that had embraced the club for more than just football. He recognized that it was about belonging fighting back against the odds, and finding unity in shared struggles. Feeling compelled to pay tribute to this heritage, Lars organized a community gathering at the park near De Quip. He invited locals, young and old, to share their Feyenoord stories, tales filled with victory and despair, songs sung in unison during matches, and moments of connection long overlooked. As laughter and tears mingled, he realized that the search for Feyenoord transcended football. It was a quest for identity, resilience, and hope. As the sun set over Rotterdam, Lars stood in the glow of unity. Surrounded by faces old and young, he felt a profound empathy, a connection that transcended generations. Feyenoord wasn't merely a football club. It was a mirror reflecting the unwavering spirit of the people. It symbolized aspiration, solidarity, and the belief that even amidst darkness, a communal light could shine bright. In his heart, Lars found what he had been searching for all along. Not just the thrill of the game, but a legacy of his own. One that engaged him in a profound narrative, echoing the fight of those before him, inspiring him to forge a future where he too could be a beacon of hope in his beloved Rotterdam. And just like that, he knew that his journey with Feyenoord was just beginning.